Oh heck yeah. Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to 8-Bit Armies. Honestly, gonna gonna be gonna throw this right out here. This right here, what we're looking at is the worst part of the game. This is an awful splash screen. I don't like the title. I don't like anything about this page, but this game is amazing. If you ever grew up with Red Alert, Command and Conquer, you know, I'm talking the originals. So, you know, original Command and Conquer, original Red Alert, this is uh, Petroglyph's love letter to those that those days of RTSs. I don't know. Honestly, it's almost uh, it's almost egregious how much they lifted, just in terms of like basic style from those games. I don't give a damn. It's awesome. So let's get started. I'm gonna play the campa campaign. We could do a tutorial, but I don't think I need it. We're gonna be on. Oh. Interesting. Uh, we get rewards if we complete these, so if I put it on hard, it doesn't look like it gives me anything extra. So, I guess by doing this it gets me an extra starting loadout? I guess. So, destroy enemy HQ, don't don't train infantry units, and complete objectives A and B in five minutes. I might actually have to do a couple of these, uh, you know, in the future. Like, play through and stuff. I don't know. Is there... Okay, there's no bonuses for... So don't trade infantry units. Gotcha! I'll see if I can do it. So we have objectives A and B, five minutes. Let's go! Begin mission. Destroy enemy HQ. So let's build this refinery quick. Let's see, so we need a power plant, an HQ, and barracks. Now, interesting question. I actually don't know if, um... I don't actually know if I have to worry about... Uh, can I... Okay, so these are just infantry. Refinery complete. Oh, you know what? We might actually have to play this again, because we haven't unlocked anything but infantry. Okay. So yeah, this will this will take uh, a couple of playthroughs to get all the bonus objectives. So let's Constructing. build the basic barracks. Okay. Yeah, because we can do one of these things, effectively. I don't know what uh, the B objective is, but this will have to do. Because, yeah, how do you not train... Barracks complete. Okay. Oh, multiple factors at the same time uh, increases your production speed. Gotcha. Uh, that's fine. Uh, looks like the, I've got a limited amount of space. We'll build a second uh, refinery. Looks like it can only make one thing at a time. So let's build one. Oh, wait. Don't train the infantry units. I think the building this rocket. Oh. Okay. So this throws me back to the beginning, but there's no way I could have beaten this because we hadn't unlocked we haven't unlocked tanks yet. So some objectives earn extra bonuses for use in other missions. If you can't complete a bonus objective now, try earning extra stars elsewhere and then come back later. Yep. Refinery complete. Okay, base power. Power is shown in the sidebar. Power. Without sufficient power, unit production will slow, and some buildings will not operate. Okay, I can build a power plant. I can probably build several, but this will be fine. Okay. Oh, and we've got a. I lo I forgot about the mystery, uh, mystery boxes. Oh man, the mystery boxes were like some of my very favorite things. Okay, crates, all the supply supplies. Uh, some could be hazardous. In this case, not in the slightest. Oh, this is how I could have done the whole don't build uh, infantry thing. I could have simply found a couple of crates. I got this. Okay, so we should we should be fine. Walking over the lava does actually hurt you, just so you guys know. Uh, doesn't really matter, but still. Let's go see if I can assault the enemy base. I've got a small force to begin with. And... I see. Objectives A and B. In five minutes. Yeah, hopefully if we don't stand in that fire too long, we don't take too much damage. If any at all. I don't know. Anyway, this game is awesome. I love it. Uh, the animation isn't great. The sound effects I'm probably going to turn off because that's going to get really annoying really fast. Maybe if I could switch it out for something else, but still. Uh, let's, let's go blast him and see see how much of a mistake that, uh, that charging them right now is going to be. I guess we could just sit here and just do horrible things to his refinery. Not a bad plan. If he has no resources, he can't do anything. Well, let's get back over here. Let's make another barracks. Uh, let's see, how much power do I have? That's one thing I don't like about this game. Oh, never mind. We we see our power levels right here. Okay, this is actually really easy to work with. 
Let's build a couple more rocket men. Is there... Like... Oh, I see. A line of sight. We have to complete. go over. Oh, 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 well, that was stupid. Okay, can I... I see, so this just changes uh, which one they come out of. Gotcha! Oh, that's fine. Here, let's build another one. It's not costing me a whole lot of resources here, but uh, I fucked up. So let's get back down here, and... Uh, Maybe we'll be okay. Okay, let's see if I can set a waypoint here. I can! Alright, so uh, now all all units built will automatically just go out. Now here's the question. Oh! Okay, so there's actually a limited amount of uh, resources you can pull from refinery. Uh, as shown by the health bar. I thought earlier I was accidentally blowing one up, but nope, that's not how it works. And that's, that's great! So instead of the old, oh, we can walk straight through the volcano. That concerned me for a bit, but I guess never mind. Uh, haha. <laughs> okay, let's not get run over by the freaking refinery truck. Uh, whatever you want to call it. That was pitiful. Okay, can't wait till I get medics. I love me some medics. Okay, so let's... I was gonna blast the refinery truck. I wonder if, um... Taking it out actually solves problems. We also have more people with, uh, rocket launchers now. But yeah, uh, if we take it out, I wonder if it gets rebuilt, or if he... He'd probably have to make another refinery to, um... Uh, to actually replace it. Either way, let's take this out first. Oh! Interesting! The infantry have, uh, grenade launchers. That they will use against structures. And it looks like he starts with a, uh... A vehicle construction facility. So he can... In fact, produce more of those. Unlike me, because yeah, I don't, I don't have the capacity to do so. That's okay. I don't care. I'm, I'm just having fun. It's been a long time since I played any kind of Command and Conquer game, and I, I know I could go back and play one of the old ones for funsies. Uh, but I don't feel like it because I got so many other things to cover and so many new games to play, so on and so forth. Oh, we're under attack. Where'd they come from? Don't tell me they have, like, a secondary base. Oh, wait, shit, they're not dead yet! Okay, can I do, like, control one? I wonder if there's, like, a way of specifically... Oh, wait, no. This just selects it so I can make more. Come on, kill that guy. There we go. Let's keep killing this. Oh, he did build another barracks after all. Okay, I was gonna set the, uh, waypoint here. Complete. I've got a lot of money. I'm just gonna. Seeing as these guys are. Player Never mind. Alright. Yeah, so it's a little rough around the edges, but <laughs> victory, a winner is you. Wow. This is like both the tackiest and I'm totally okay with it. Alright, so suck it, Alvarez. Let's keep going. So. Uh, we could actually redo that one, one and get the, uh, the light infantry. Uh thing. Yeah, so I guess starting loadout, I start with one guy? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see. What's this? Oh, I start with a barracks, maybe. Well, we'll leave that for later. So destroy all enemy structures, build only one refinery, and complete... Okay, so I should actually be able to do this. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but we've got to complete this mission in five minutes this time around. Well, I can make armored cars, so this should work. Maybe not, this is a bit big. Operation Sky Thunder. So, destroy all enemy structures, begin mission. So let's start with the refinery. Oh yeah! So, uh, because of everything, I actually do just literally start with these things. That's nice, I like it. So this is armored car, good against infantry, requires motor pool. Uh, let's see. I'm probably just gonna build, uh, basic barracks for the time being. Refinery complete. Let's see, can I, can I, uh, nope. I was, I was wondering if I could uh, rotate these around since everything is 3D and voxely. Oh, you can zoom in. That's nice. Yeah, the animations, unfortunately, are not exactly the greatest in this game, but I'm fine with that. Uh, they never really were that great in the first two games anyway. Okay, I can make a motor pool, but for the time being, let's just pile all of our money into making just a bunch of these dudes. 
Uh, we've got four minutes to go, and I gotta go fast. Let's see. Luckily, we should be fine. Let's make sure. The thing is, it, it ticks down money instead, which is kind of different. I don't know. It's not really a big deal here. Um, okay, this is probably good enough for us. This is about what I had for the last time. So I don't think he's going to have a whole lot out in the city. If we're lucky, he won't have anything. Uh, oh. I gotta do attack move. I forgot. Now I do have a jeep. I'm probably not going to be using the jeep too much. Well, it's probably going to get blown up. That's kind of the main dealio here. Oh, uh, shoot. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to come back to a lot of these, uh, because, oh boy, can't do. So, I can only make an armored car, I mean, really, at this point, we just need a silly amount of, silly amount of rocket dudes. Uh, I'll still, I'll still be able to get two stars out of this mission, but that last one we're probably not gonna be able to do until we can get artillery or tank or something. Uh, just because I simply don't have the, uh, I simply don't have the setup to kill those things normally. So let's attack move within the area, and then we'll get out from there, let's make a little staging point. Yeah, if I just have a ton of rocket dudes, maybe we can just shell it to death. I don't know. I love this though. I, I grew up on Red Alert, specifically Red Alert. Uh, I didn't, I don't know, I kind of got into Command and Conquer, but it wasn't as uh, good for me, it was harder. Red Alert f felt like it had a better scaling, because it came later, really. Uh, okay, destroy all structures. Let's see. Keep in mind, turrets do not count for this objective. Oh! We might still make it. So we can just ignore any automated turrets that we find in the area. Admittedly, shame I, I lost my jeep, because I could have totally used it to, like, scout in, figure out where all the turrets are, and, you know, not deal with them. Okay. Can I do control groups? I think I might be able to. I'll have to mess with it. Yep, I can do control groups. I love control groups. Alright, so we want to watch out. Oh, he's got a small army over there. Now here's the question. The rockets, rockets do do AoE. However, uh, yeah, this is going to take... More effort. Okay. So let's build that motor pool. Constructing. Now let's go back to building a bunch of these guys. Ah, shoot. That motor pool was expensive. I guess it was only 350, but still. Uh, we'll probably be okay. Yeah, problem is he's got a built in. Um, motor pool complete. He's got Gatling turrets in his, in his base, as well as some other things. Is kind of a rough setup. We'll make it work. But yeah, these rockets seem to have a AoE, I think? It's hard to tell. Either way, I love it. It's pretty much just the standard Zergum with whatever units. Just constantly. It's a bit goofy. Okay, so this is going to take out his army. I'm going to follow him and see if I can take him down. We can avoid that turret pretty easily. Uh, and then what I might actually do is just sit, sit outside of his base for the time being. Why are you guys slower than his? I have no idea. We'll build another armored car. Yeah, his guys are faster than mine. Either that or we get stuck on something or... I mean, honestly, the AI probably just cheats. That seems like how it always works in these games. 
Okay, yeah, so he's got a Gatling turret right there. That doesn't give me a whole lot of leeway. We can pretty much just shell his refinery from a distance. Or shell it and have some pretty heavy consequences. Out of the way, out of the way. Okay. I might actually have to scale it up here. Yeah. We're not going to be able to get either of these. We need... We need better vehicles. Constructing. Structure sold. Okay, we want to do power. I mean, honestly, at this point, let's do this. Let's surrender, let's restart, because uh, he's got a bit of a bonus on me. We could also go back and do things, I don't know, but I think this will work. Yeah, build only one refinery. Like, these are awesome challenges, but I just don't have the capacity to do it normally. What we might almost want to do is just... Like, what I might almost want to do is just... What the... Okay, play play through this game on, um... Constructing. On easy mode. And, uh, you know, the beginner's difficulty. Seeing as most of the side objectives are impossible. So, you know, play through them alone and get all the bonuses. I don't know. I don't know. Nah, nah. Let's, let's play through the game on normal difficulty. Get, complete. get what we can and then go from there. Let's see, so how much power? Yeah, we're going to need to build a power plant immediately. We'll work on building up our forces after this. Uh, but still, I'm having a good time. Now, complete. when I say I grew up on these games, I never said I was good at them. Uh, and honestly, it, it does take a little bit getting used to this sort of thing. Okay, yeah, we have grand total of two dudes. Now... It actually seems like it's a good idea to mostly have rocket units and possibly uh, armored cars. Power plant I complete. could be wrong on that one, though. I don't know. Constructing. Because the problem is, re uh, that yeah, the armored car took a lot from the Gatling, but it doesn't deal out a whole lot of damage. Hard to decide. Well, one way or another. So we've already failed two of these, but we'll finish the mission. So let's set a staging ground. Let's see. So I crossed over this bridge. What if I cross over this bridge? Motor pool complete. Or let's not do that. Let's set it there. I think I'm just going to start with a number of these. Let's see, I don't know if I have to set a waypoint on the motor pool either. Luckily, I can make um, I can make stuff with the motor pool and the uh, other one. Yeah, so it's probably going to just be motor pool and rockets. And I'm just going to build a ton of them. Eventually, we will uh, have more units that we can roll in with. And that's how we're going to be able to get all the uh, better objectives, but still. For the time being, this seems like a good idea. Uh, that Gatling turret's going to be a pain, so let's get a bunch of let's get a bunch of units. I mean, honestly, if I can zerg them early and actually survive the initial rush, uh, and you know, take him out, then pretty much worlds or oyster and we win. It doesn't look like there's any back doors into his base or anything like that either. So we're pretty much at the mercy of everything. Okay. Let's hit critical mass. Nice thing is he's sending out, like, small groups. So that more or less means I can, um... Take them down. We'll build up my forces. Eventually we'll be able to repair or heal or something. And then this also won't be an issue. But for now, uh... Yeah, this is probably a pretty good critical mass. This will be group one. They're all going to die. We could go around, or we could just say screw it. Interesting that it only targets things uh, nearest to it. Ish. It's a little random, but for the most part, that's how it works. Okay, so I don't think there's any more turrets there. Uh, let's go back to this. Go back to you. Okay. 
Okay, so we want to do... Just a bunch of these. Let's build... Let's build another armor... Armor thing. Okay, this is actually working out. Yeah, let's... Let's not do that. I'm just gonna shoot his, uh, his refinery truck as it goes by. I don't know if, uh, they've programmed it so the AI cheats in this game. Uh, Motor I'm gonna assume complete. the AI operates under the same rules that I do. But you never know. You never know. Okay. I love how the trees just fall over. That is a funny, funny thing. So here's the question. Can I select both of these? Can this be... Hey, I can't have control group two. So now we've moved the waypoint further a little bit. Okay, so we got a bunch of armored trucks. We haven't taken too much damage. I'll zerg them shortly. I I'm sure there are more complicated tactics that I could probably pull off here. But right now, laziness is prevailing. And it seems like zerg tactics work at least early on. Later, maybe not so much so. Ah, hey, there's his army. Turns out just trolling outside of his base is kind of a good setup. So let's take out his refinery. Okay, let's take out his Gatling. Before that causes me any more pain. Okay, yeah, these, these armor trucks were very worthwhile. And this will go down. Oh yeah, there's repair and sell. Like, honestly, if you've played Command and Conquer, this is going to look one for one to you and that is a very good thing in my opinion i don't know I, I i love games like this and it always kind of annoys me a little bit that the uh the golden age of the rts i mean it's still there there are still some good rts's but like i don't know there's just something perfect about uh there's just something perfect about command and conquer and red alert and it's always been a bit of a shame that, uh, you know, Westwood went under. Like, StarCraft is okay, and, like, Grey Goo and Deserts of Karak were okay. I just, I loved Red Alert 2. And Red Alert 3 had some interesting mechanics, even if it was kind of goofy bad. I liked it anyway. Alright. Oh, shit. Okay, back off, back off, back off. I wonder if I can take out all of his powers so his turrets won't fire anymore. The sound effects are definitely gonna have to be turned off though. This is pretty bad. Like, pretty ultra bad. Alright, they're down. Suck it. This worked perfectly. And he can't build anything. Oh, he does actually have two refiner trucks. And we win. Yeah! I mean, obviously, it does feel a little unsatisfying because I just zerged him to death. But, gonna be honest, that does seem kind of like what I'm going to be doing. So anyway, we start with a turret and... Oh, wait, no, we unlock stuff. We don't start with anything yet. Uh, but, for example, we could go back to Green Man and actually get the Don't Train Infantry units and uh, do it in five minutes. Like, this totally doable with the armored car, though it might actually be faster once we eventually get the tank. Uh, so we got that later. Tech Lab, Air Control, Engineer, Missile Silo, Radar, Rocket Turret. Yeah. Some of these seem pretty dang neat. I, I love the fact that uh, you kind of are new game plusing yourself in a cool way. Uh, every, every time you complete these the next time around, it'll be easier. I like that. I like that a lot. So, I guess uh, with this, uh, the game's 15 bucks. I highly recommend it if you love RTSs and grew up with Command & Conquer Red Alert. I mean, how many times can I say those two games, uh, games names over and over, uh, before it, it's drilled into your head? But, uh, I mean, I'm serious. Uh, it plays well. The title screen looks like crap. The, uh, the music is great. The sound effects are atrocious. Let's turn them off. And just, like, flat out. Gameplay sound effects. UI sound effects. Unit response. Gotcha. I can keep the notifications on. We'll probably need that. But there we go. But yeah, it's it's 15 bucks uh, currently with the soundtrack, and eventually it'll be a little bit more. But whatever, um, I recommend it. That's it. I don't need to say any more. So if you guys liked uh, this impressions video slash first episode of Let's Play in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe because I'm doing at least 
I'm gonna say two full playthroughs, but uh, really what I'm gonna do is probably do the campaign mode. It doesn't seem like it's that long anyway. Like, how long is it? Okay, this is a hell of a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. What we'll probably do is get like halfway through and then go back for the stars. This is like a super quick thing or something. Uh, but it's also got uh, a couple missions for campaign mode. So at some point I'll probably rat, uh, like rope Birdcatcher into playing with me too. So that'll be kind of fun. Uh, but I guess apart from that, I will see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.